All I knew was one thing, how to handle in the streets was fighting, stealing from people, selling drugs, and being a drug addict. Like when I'm out there, I don't have nothing to do, you know, it's like, it's nothing to do. So you just have no choice but to get in trouble. I was always incarcerated all my childhood. So it's really like I couldn't go to high school and I had the opportunity that other kids had to like, you know, go be out, be out here free and go to a public school. I've done a lot of things that, um, that I wish I wouldn't have did. The doors of Homeboy Industries were open to me. I began to grow and mature as a person. Growing up, I never really thought that, you know, I was gonna make a change in somebody's lives. I never thought that I would ever, you know, do something positive. I just, you know, just, just doing me, you know? I never really cared if I was gonna, you know, live or whatever, you know? They told me that basically my life is worth something, you know? I, that I'm worth something as a person, you know? That I can actually make a change in somebody else's life as well as in mine, you know? You know, it's never about becoming something that you're not. It's only about discovering the truth of who you've always been. of Homeboy Industries is to offer an opportunity and a place for, uh, for a therapeutic community where gang members, uh, men and women, can come when they're tired of being tired and they can redirect their lives, re-identify who they are uh, in the world and uh, gain a certain amount of resilience so they can be sent out into the world uh, for uh, gainful employment. Getting the feel of what it's like to work instead of having to hustle and, and rob or steal for money and to be responsible as far as um, paying my rent, paying my bills, and everything that, that comes along with, um, with life. The thing is, it's gonna hurt, but it's gonna go fast, okay? I'm gonna go as long as I can. If you need a break, you just let me know, okay? That's good. Where do you think you'd be if it wasn't for Homeboy? Probably back in prison. What Father Greg does for us is he teaches us that we are somebody and we are worth something. I can see myself um, as being a, a, a director of a youth program, of a girl's home. Right when you start working here at Homeboy Industry, the healing process starts within your life. Pretty much I'm a security guard slash tour guide. Sometimes people have problems, so they trust me on my opinion because uh, I live the life. It's about just being a light, a beacon unto those people that are still in their way of, of drug use or gang violence. Before something happens, I think about it and I try to use wisdom, you know? And I try to use understanding that if I do something, I have to understand that there's consequences to that, you know? Today I want to live. And Homeboy Industries has given me that opportunity. You will metamorphosize yourself with all these great people in here. You will, like, change. Homeboy opened a new, their own school at the old building. The program is great. Like, all right, first of all, they give us the benefit of the doubt to go anytime we want. And that comes with a lot of responsibility because every time we go, we got to bring work and show proof that, oh, we're doing our work. And if not, they'll drop us. To me, I can only describe it in one word. They'll be home. Seriously. When I first came here, I told a friend of mine, I, I feel like I didn't step into a new job, that I was invited into a community. It's a community in the best sense of the word. It's a community that is for each other and that gets what's really important about life. A place, as best as we humans can do it, of unconditional love, of openness, of acceptance, a place that's for healing, and it's not just for healing the homeboys and homegirls. I think that many of the senior staff have experienced that in being part of this community. It's a place of wholeness and a place of acceptance and a place of love. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. You know, everybody's like my family down here. I don't consider them, you know, just friends or associates or nothing. That's like my family down here. You know, it's like my other side of my family, the real family that I, you know, always wanted to have. You know, I never had the chance to get, but you know, this is like my family right here. I like giving back to people, you know, that just need that little push in their life. Everybody try to give back what they can. You know, um, people, different, even people have different situations where they can give back, whether it's talking, whether it's anything. You know, um, we try to all put it together. You know, our minds and 
do something to give back, you know, represent homeboys in a good way. I'm just proud to be part of it, you know. Yeah, that's about it. in every way but not constrained, perplexed but not driven to despair, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. There are cracks in everything. It's how the light gets in.